Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. I'm pretty excited about today's topic because we're going to talk about how to make your cat love you. I know that a lot of people say that cats are weird, especially if you're new to cats and if you're a dog person, then cats are definitely very different. But I think that the relationship that you're going to have with your cat is the closest thing to a healthy human relationship that you're experiencing in your life. That's one of the reasons why a lot of today's tips are going to revolve about understanding their personal space and respecting their boundaries. So if you just got a cat or you just want to build a relationship with a cat that you found in your area and the first thing that I will recommend you not to do is trying too hard. I think that's one of the things that I notice a lot of my friends do when they visit my house and they want to get to know my cat. They just try too much and they're too demanding for my cat Mia to come to them so that they can pat and they can cuddle. You know, cats don't work like that. I know that there are some types of cats that are more affectionate, but I realize that the majority of them are just very cautious. And if you're new to them, they're not gonna come to you, especially if you try to ambush them, I must say. But don't worry, cats are very curious and they will come to you if you give them enough space and enough time to get to know you. So be around, be close to them, but don't approach them. Let them come to you and let them approach you instead. Tip number two, I'm going to talk about how to understand their love language. Now, I think different types of cats are going to have different types of personality traits and how they express their love to you. A lot of cats are more affectionate while others are not very affectionate, I must say. But it doesn't mean that they don't love you. For my cat, Mia, she's not the super affectionate kind of cat, but I know that she loves me because she follows me around the house. Whenever I move from room to room, she kind of follows me and she likes staying nearby me. Throughout the day, she's going to come to me from time to time for pats and snuggles, but it usually lasts for only about 10 to 15 minutes each time and then she'll just leave and retreat to her own space instead of staying next to me all the time and honestly it kind of works for me because I don't like a cat sleeping on my lap because I cannot do anything for the whole day the next tip is to spend quality time with them understand their habits and their routines I've had Mia for a couple of years now and I've noticed that her routines change from time to time. Sometimes she's more affectionate in the morning, sometimes she's more affectionate and more playful before I go to sleep. So pay attention to when they want to play and play with them instead of forcing them to play with you whenever you want. If it's a very young cat, then they're definitely very playful and you can play with them a lot throughout the day but other than that i think most of the time that they want to play will be before your bedtime so use that time to relax and wind down and spend some quality time with your cat cats are a very subtle kind of animal so just because that they don't show affection to you the way you want them to doesn't mean that they don't love you don't force them to give you attention it really doesn't work that way but instead if you're bored you can also spend quality time with yourself do some self-care or watch a movie by yourself it's not the end of the world if your cat doesn't stay with you 24 7 or if you don't have anyone to snuggle with 24 7 it's okay you can also have quality time with yourself Okay, I feel like this video has gone a little off track, <laughs> so I'm gonna stop it right here. And if you have any requests or any questions that you wanna ask me, then please leave a comment below. And I'll see you soon. Bye!